Hey everyone, Will here from uh, Flea Market Finds for November 5th, 2020. I know I'm a little uh, early this week uh, in doing a video, but I got a few things together. And uh, it's a beautiful day outside, so I figured uh, why not do a little video. Uh, some interesting things. Uh, Going to be a short one, but uh, let's take a look. Uh, first up, a couple things that uh, my wife picked out. Uh, she got this little... Uh, I think it's dollhouse furniture or miniature or something, but uh, she's going to uh, turn this into a little uh, little jewelry box for her, like her everyday jewelry. That was five bucks. Uh, the little uh, crystal uh, ball with the uh, um, crystals. Uh, there was twenty. I think she's got plans on doing something, hanging that from our uh, light in the dining room. I uh, picked this up. It's a little uh, uh, slide rule uh, that can fit inside your pocket. Comes with a little pop pocket protector. Uh, five bucks on that. A uh, really cool piece. Slide rules always uh, sell well. Lots of collectors out there for them. I uh, love the little spoon. The uh, lion holding the uh, scepter. Uh, looks very uh, British to me. Uh, five bucks on that. I think it's more decorative than uh, functional, uh, but uh, just caught my eye. Uh, a couple little tongs. Uh, back in civilized times, uh, when you bought a box of chocolates, you got a pair of uh, little uh, chocolate tongs to go with it to pick up the tongs, pick up the chocolates and uh, wouldn't get the chocolate all over your fingertips. So uh, there's collectors for chocolate tongs out there. Uh, these, This one is uh, marked uh, Sparrows, the other one's unmarked. But uh, cool pieces. Uh, love the uh, early chapstick in a metal tube called Chapaway. Um, the cap is on there pretty good. I couldn't get it off. Uh, it looks like you just push it up uh, manually through the uh, through the base. Four bucks on that. Just couldn't pass it up. That is a cool looking piece. Uh, Limoges boxes. Lots of people make little trinket boxes, but uh, Limoges is one of the best. And uh, I've sold uh, Limoges in the past. And uh, they always bring good money. Uh, these were uh, five dollars a piece, and uh, not sure what they'll bring. Uh, prices tend to be all over the place on these. Uh, like maybe uh, they can range anywhere from forty on on to over a hundred, but uh, uh, Limoges is uh, always good quality. Little desk desktop organizer made out of brass. Uh, that was five bucks. Set of uh, Jamaica coins uh, with the original uh, case they came in. Paid three dollars. I was hoping they would be silver. Uh, however, they're not. Uh, but still, uh, great condition. Uh, uncirculated condition. Uh, should be able to find a collector out there for them. Uh, take a look at the jackets and little beanie caps. I love these things. Uh, I believe they're um, handmade. I could be wrong. Love little beanie hats uh, to go with them. But uh, I wish uh, one of my kids was uh, still small enough I could have a model them for them. But uh, they stopped wearing this size a long time ago. <laughs> Um, but uh, is these are really cool. Uh, couldn't pass them up. Ten bucks a piece. Uh, very nineteen uh, forties, nineteen fifties look to them. Uh, get this leaf out of the way. Got leaves coming down everywhere. Uh, miniature furniture, uh, still sealed. Uh, that you put together. 
Uh, I've always had good luck with uh, miniature furniture. Um, it's, uh, it's a six dollar set, five, five, and uh, three house of managers. Uh, these will probably bring fifteen, twenty a piece. Uh, the big ones, not sure, uh, maybe thirty. Got a bag of watches, uh, five dollars for the entire Ziploc bag. I haven't even looked through there yet. Um, what is that? Rolex? I don't know. No, just kidding. Um, probably just sell them as a lot. Uh, doesn't really look like much to them, but uh, interesting little bag. Uh, museum reproductions always uh, sell well. Uh, MMA stuff is the best museum of modern art, but uh, you should do well too. Uh, with seven on those little uh, belts made out of rhinestones, they were uh, uh, three apiece. Some 50 cent bags from the yard sales, says safety awards, World War II memorial pin, and a Sacrete Concrete 50th anniversary from 19. 86. Uh, a couple Duty and Burke uh, handbags. Got these for uh, 30 a piece, and uh, probably put them list them for around 100 a piece. Uh, getting into the uh, Christmas season, um, people should be looking for some gifts soon. Uh, so hopefully they'll sell. And uh, definitely the oddest piece. Uh, had all this stuff in a box, and the box was uh, $10 for everything. Right on top was this piece. It's a shame that it's missing a chunk, but you can see it's really well done. Uh, the person had this. The estate this came from, the person, uh, there was also a shrunken head that uh, was in the same lot. And... Uh, the seller was keeping the shrunken head. That's good because I didn't want it. But uh, we got this. Now, what? <laughs> what exactly is this? Was it? Was it some kind of uh, dress? Uh, maybe get worn around the waist. Um, some sort of wind chime. Um, and it's actually got little pieces of bone. Um, really cool. Love the art. Uh, to me, uh, ten bucks is just worth the uh, the two pieces here. But some kinds of seeds. And, um, so couldn't pass it up. Uh, it's weird, and uh, I may never know what it is. But uh, I don't even know if it all goes together. But uh, cool piece. Uh, the person said they were at uh, the owner of this was down in New Guinea at some time. So I don't know. Uh, anybody knows anything? Let me know. Um, I'm drawing a blank on this one. Uh, so there we go. Keep an eye on the store terminal 99, which is where a lot of this stuff will be appearing. So until next time, this Will Yard Sales Fivelist, and we'll talk again soon.